AFP Greater Phoenix Chapter recognizes John and Dee Whiteman as its 2012 Outstanding Philanthropists. Dr. Jeffrey Smith of Balls Community Foundation nominated John and Dee, and Dr. Smith shares his appreciation for their support for EduCare Arizona. EduCare is a, is a beautiful campus. 192 uh, high-needs children are uh, given the opportunity for a high-quality early childhood experience. It prepares them for kindergarten and beyond for life and college and career. We want all of our students to be happy and successful citizens, and that starts in early childhood. Uh, students start to form beliefs about themselves and a knowledge of their vocabulary and their capabilities. Kids are very creative here. We stress uh, vocabulary, reading, uh, language. Uh, if you go out into our courtyard, you'll see a garden. And so it's really bringing all of uh, life experiences into the classroom and helping kids to be able to articulate and uh, develop an understanding about the world around them. John and Dee Whiteman are true humanitarians. They are the cornerstone of EduCare Arizona. Uh, John has helped with uh, bringing not only funding from his own foundations, but helping other foundations, such as the Steele Foundation, the Piper Foundation, the Steve Nash Foundation, Scottsdale Healthcare in conjunction with the Ibis Foundation, and also the Hickey Foundation. All you have to do is talk to John and you know uh, the, the definition of the word passion. John and Dee feel early education is critical to a good start in life. At Arizona Museum for Youth in Mesa, Executive Director Sonny O'Rourke sees infants and small children learn everything from the value of money to the importance of fun. Actually, the museum's mission is that we inspire children of all ages to experience their world differently through art, creativity, and imagination. The museum has a history of creating its own exhibitions beautifully. That's what we're known for, hands-on, minds-on learning. And thanks to the support of John and Dee Whiteman, we have been able to bring stellar artwork and collections to the museum and to the community. Our gallery, where the exhibitions are, is the John and Dee Whiteman Exhibition Gallery. Another wonderful program that came about because of their vision and the museum's former director, Barbara Meyerson's vision and staff, is Artville. That's the second reason why people come to visit us besides the exhibitions. And that's the zero to four space. And it really is all about developing the early childhood mind. The public-private partnership that we have with the City of Mesa is extraordinary. The government of the City of Mesa funded the museum 100% until about seven years ago with the Economic Times, there was a change in the budget. Hi, At that time, I went to John and talked to him about furthering the support of the nonprofit arm of the institution, which is the Arizona Museum for Youth Friends. And with that support and expansion of support, again for the second time, you would say John saved the museum. <laughs>